This is a marked deck. Uh, it's a very powerful deck. You can pretty much do any type of trick you want to do with it. Uh, you can do regular magic tricks or you can use the uh, kind of marked uh, capability of the cards. Or you can just play poker with the cards or do whatever you want with the cards. So anyways, first I'll show you uh, just a simple trick you can do with the deck, then I'll show you how to make one. And by the way, you can buy a deck online like like this for about $10 or you can make your own for about $5. Or if you get your cards uh, in bulk, like I get my decks of bicycle cards from Costco. Uh, I think now, I was just there the other day, I saw some, you can get nine decks of bicycle cards for about eleven fifty. Which is uh, which is pretty good. Uh, it ends up being about a dollar thirty each deck, with tax and everything. So, anyways, first I'll show you just a simple trick, and then I'll show you how to make one. So, you can have a spectator shuffle up this pack like this. They can shuffle it up as much as they want. You can even re remove half the pack if you want. It doesn't matter. Uh, you don't even have to be in the room when they're shuffling it up. Then you can take the pack and spread it out like that. Tell them to touch a card. Just pull that card out, out like that. Look at the card. I can tell instantly this card is a seven of diamonds. Uh, let's try it again here. Just pick a card from down here. Looking at that card, I can tell it's a two of diamonds. All right? Let's try it one more time. Doesn't matter what card you use. Just pull out that card there. This one here is the three of clubs. Yeah, let's try it one more time, uh, just to see if I can get this next one. I'm sure I will, because instantly I know this one's the six of diamonds. And there's a lot of diamonds. And as you can see, this deck looks completely ordinary. Uh, so, anyways, now I'll show you how it works and how to make a deck. So, as you can see, we're looking at the upper right-hand corner of the card here of a bicycle card. The bottom left hand corner is also the exact same, just reversed. But actually if you pivot the card around like this, it'll look the exact same. Uh, so basically, how I tell what number the card is, if it's ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, or king, is you see we have a flower here. Basically, if I can see the whole flower, it's an ace. If this flower here is missing, it's a two. If this flower here is missing, it's a three. If this flower is missing, it's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. If if this dot is missing, and you can see the whole all the flower, all the little petals on the outside, it's a ten. If this dot is missing and this petal is missing, it's a jack. This one and this one are missing, it's a queen. This one and this one are missing, it's a king. So that's how you tell what uh, what number the card is. And then for suits, as you see we have five little triangles here. Uh, you only actually use the first four. Basically this one here is spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. Easiest way to remember that is this one stands for one, this one stands for two, this one stands for three, and this one stands for four. Uh, and basically, one, well, spades only has one uh, point at the top. Hearts, uh, hearts only has, uh, hearts has two half circles. Uh, and then clubs, clubs has three kind of circles coming, coming out, of the little, out of the little triangle on the bottom. And then diamonds has four corners. So one, two, three, four. Uh, you can also use any other order. You just, this could be clubs, this could be diamonds, this could be... Uh, spades and this could be hearts. It could be whatever you want it to be. I just use spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds because I find it the easiest. That's what I use for my uh, for my memorized deck as well. So anyways, uh, here I'll show you. This is one a card that is marked and as you can see this petal here is missing. So I know, let's see, if the whole petal was showing it would be an ace. This one's missing it would be a two. If this one is missing, it would be a three. So I know this one's a three. So this card is going to be three of spades, because this one here, this uh, triangle here is missing. And if we turn it over, let me just zoom out here. Turn it over, you can see it's a three of spades. 
Uh, let's look at another card here. So, as you can see, uh, let's see, it's not an ace, it's not a two, three, four, five, six, but it's a seven. Seven of spades, hearts, clubs. Seven of clubs. Right? As you can see there, it's a seven of clubs. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how you can mark your own cards. So as you see here, uh, I'm just going to show you how to mark uh, three cards, the Ace of Spades, Five of Spades, and the Jack of Diamonds. And to mark the cards, we're going to be using a red Sharpie. Uh, you can buy these at office supply stores. Uh, not sure where I got this one from. I just found it lying around. So anyways, we'll use this Sharpie, and I'll show you how to mark these three cards. Uh, so let's start with the Ace of Spades. This one's pretty easy because since it's an ace, we don't need to do anything with the flower here. We just need to uh, mark that. And we know it's a spades, so that makes it easy as well. Just zoom in here, which means we're going to be marking this first one. So just mark it carefully. So there you go, that's pretty good. You can go over it a second time if it's not dark enough. Uh, and then what I also do is I rotate the card like this and mark the other side as well, just so that I can kind of, yeah, it just helps because then it's on both sides so you can just glance up. You can always glance at the upper uh, right hand corner or the lower left hand corner and you'll know you're gonna see uh, the mark. So do the same thing here. like that and so that's the first card and okay so now I'm gonna do the jack of diamonds so let's see since it's a jack the center is gonna be marked out so let me just mark that so there's that and then let's see that would be a 10 and then to make it a jack, we also have to mark out the top petal here, right? And then since it's, since it's a diamonds, we're going to mark out the one, two, three, fourth one, or however you've decided to do your suits. Uh, now, as you can see here, I kind of spilt over onto this white surface here. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but if you want to, you can just use something to scrape away at it, and you'll see that it cleans it up nicely, nicely like that. It just makes it look nicer. Uh, I, I've done that to a few cards, and some, some of the cards, uh, that it hasn't been that bad. I've just left. But then other ones where it's really visible, you want to scrape it away. So anyways, we'll do the same thing up here. Center dot and top petal. And then one, two, three, fourth triangle. Anyways, yeah, a deck like this uh, probably takes about 45 minutes to an hour to make. Uh, depends if you need to take a break, if you get, yeah, if you start going insane halfway through. Uh, but yeah, it, it's worth it, I think. Anyways, our last card here is a five of spades. So here, now how I would do this, I know the bottom one here, now this, this is actually pretty easy because I know the bottom pedal stands for a 6, which makes a lot of sense, Well, it, which is easy to remember because that's what a 6 is at the, on the bottom of a clock, so then you just go back one, and that's a 5. You can also just count 1, top pedal is a 2, 3, 4, 5, but if you're just, when you get used to it, you'll go, you'll look at, you'll say you'll see six, five. So anyways, it doesn't really matter. So like that, and then this is a spades. Just mark out the first one, rotate it like this, and five, and first one. Oh, sorry, there we go. So that's how you mark I just showed you how to mark three cards there, 
and you just do that for the rest of your deck and you should be done. Uh, as you can see I have my three cards there. You can see this little thing's missing, these two are missing, this one's missing, this is missing, and this is missing. And it's the exact same on the bottom of the cards. Anyways, I hope, hope you found this uh, tutorial useful and have fun.